Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. It's Brother Henry, and I've come to Hawaiian Gardens Casino. And here we go. The Vandalay.
gospel for us. Thank you. about uh, something that happened. I pulled in and, and there was uh, some people on the ground and I thought they were sheriffs, but he said that they were you guys. And some, was it like drugs and stuff that people get involved in? Or? Well, we don't know. <laughs> Hopefully not, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm glad that you guys have a uh, good keep on the plate. Good job. Looking at the gambling problem thing. Do you see people uh, getting these? Uh, really? Are they all shaking when they grab them? Or they're... yeah? Well, I'm, I'm here to help. I'm just uh, providing a, a different uh, route. To Jesus. Yeah, so I brought my own literature to get to people. So how about you? <laughs> I think you'll like it. Ah, they're going to say something, Yamrio. Yeah, sure. Looks like you won. Can I give you a gospel track? Whatsoever, you're losing more than your expendable money. For 
it goes beyond like being a recreation. Yeah, and all of a sudden now you can't pay your credit card, you're behind, you're putting off, your phone bill's late, you don't have the money, you, you couldn't control yourself and keep going back. That's what I now, would. do you think that that's, uh, uh, you know, the whole, like a uh, revolving door of the whole thing when people lose, they got to try to get their money back by gambling more? Sometimes. Not everyone. How do you get out of it? Discipline. Sometimes you run bad. You can be a, good, a great poker player. Take some bad beats. Run bad for a week or two. Maybe dump a thousand dollars. And you really just need to take some time off. So you know what? I'm going to take a month off. I've lost more than I should. Hopefully you haven't lost any, like what I just said, money that's... Right. Hopefully how, you haven't how about lost... not doing that and giving for charitable contributions and receiving your money in that regard instead of... Well, I personally give, give uh, anyways, regardless, I give 10% of my income so, to the church. Oh, really? Actually, different, not all to the church. I, my uncle's a minister, I support him. Oh, really? And uh, there's a couple of different people that I support, and also the church. So, with, with all of them put together, it's about 10%. Do you think you'd ever leave it, stop gambling, no. ever consider that? If I lost money, I would. No, no, just didn't even lose money. Oh, it's possible. Walk away from it. I really enjoy the rush. I enjoy the... And it's not a problem for me. I'm not, I'm not losing money. I'm not, you know, late on bills or anything like that. It does have... Uh, bad, bad beats, every once in a while, will lead me to use drugs. Ooh. Which is not good at all. Yeah. But there are other things. I have seen that. Even if I don't gamble, I still have a problem. I struggle with, with drugs. I've gone a year sober. I've gone six months, dozens of times, three months all the how, time. How about trying uh, repenting and oh, absolutely. Morning, morning again and, and giving your life? Not, well, I'm, not, a, not, I'm a Christian, so there's, yeah, no, but, there's but, no being born again. I've already accepted Christ as my Savior. But, so I don't need to be born again. I accepted him as my personal savior when I was five. He's never left me. But but it doesn't give us an excuse to sin. Absolutely not. Because that's like abusing grace. Right. Right. No, I don't. I don't feel like I have a, a gold card that I can. But we all sin. You sin. Well, uh, you don't have to sin. Temptation is not sin. Right. So if you're tempted to right. curse, if you're tempted to. Do you sin? Do you have problems? Do you sin? Well, I, I've repented, and I've, eight years ago, 9-11-2006, and I gave my life over to Jesus. Okay. And that means that He gave me a new heart, a new mind. And I don't know, right. set free from the power and bondage of sin. I don't go back into it, you know what I mean? Right. And it says, uh, uh, if we sin willfully, after receiving the knowledge of the truth, there remains no sacrifice for sin. So there is no, like, turning back. That's not even an option. So maybe you need to truly repent. Well, Christ died for my sins. So if I were to sin tonight, if I were to decide I feel like getting high tonight and I went and got high, that doesn't mean I'm not going to heaven. Right. I can't That's undo. Right. Because I, I'm not in, I'm not personally in control. I can't go out and do something and control the fact that I'm not going to heaven. Now, do you think Jesus can give you the power over sin? He conquered it on the cross. He rose from the dead. I do, but there's such there, there are some issues that I really have a hard time. That's with. why you got to repent. That means when you truly turn away, Christ will give you power over sin and you'll hate sin. It's, it's true. I'm telling you, it's, it's not... So repent. what's your advice for me? Because I, I am a Christian. I'm okay, well, everybody says that, though. I, I run into a lot of people and it's a, it's a label. Now. And, and it's just a cheap no, no, no. thing to throw you, around. You don't get people that say, I have accepted Jesus Christ as my personal Savior. But that, and, those that, are just that, and that's why I, I know that I'm going to heaven. I, I have complete faith. And I'm going to heaven. So he who sins is of the devil. I was just reading about that today in 1 John. We can't continue. So what's your advice for me? 
to repent. And that means to not say you're sorry and then continue it or to go back to it. But Have you truly the, repented over an issue in your life and then over time uh, it's stumbled one, again? It's a one-time event. You've never stumbled a second time? Not with Christ. He's not going to live in a vessel with sin. It's not going to happen. He's not. He's not going to live in a in a, in a, in a, think, so in a sin. So you think Christ jumps out of me? You think I'm, I'm losing my salvation if I were to sin? That doesn't make any sense. That goes against what the Bible is. Well, Jesus said, unless you repent, you will all likewise perish. He said it two times in Luke 13 and 3. And he described hell as horrifying. And you know what's going to happen to hypocrites? Do you have something for me yeah. to check out? It's a, it's a good gospel track that my friend okay. wrote up for me. Instead of the I'll get a magnifying glass. I have one. <laughs> it's the don'ts and do's. Okay, and I'll check it out. about being covetous and, and, you know, we have to be content with what we have. Right. But yeah, I don't think you've ever truly repented. I used to say, because I said the sinner's prayer, you know, I have a free kick to heaven. What is truly repenting? Turning away from sin and hating sin. And when God sees you do that with a true heart, He will He will make you hate gambling, hate drugs, hate alcohol, hate curses, hate all these things. I'm telling you the truth. That's the whole reason why He okay. rose. I'm not death. convinced that gambling is a sin. Well, but after you read that track, Dr you will. Drugs, I, I agree with. Um, well, we have to be content with what we have. And be there, there are some strong Christians out there that, that, that play poker, that, that enjoy blackjack. This is I devil. don't think if you sit down and play a little blackjack in Vegas, you're a sinner. And well, there's nowhere in the Bible that says they, that they gambled play blackjack over, or play. They gambled over Jesus' role. That shows how wicked man is. They gambled over it. They drew lots of it. Well, I will read every yeah, word of this yeah, yeah. and check uh, it out. What, just, what is your um, name? Henry. Henry? I'm just here to help. Okay. Thanks, Henry. Give me one of these, sir. The gospel stuff. You're going to like it. It's got good, good things on the back of the screen. Better than this. <laughs> Later on, read it when you're in the quiet of your home. Do me that favor. About Jesus, Jesus, and God, and repentance, turning life over. You know, sometimes gambling can be a stronghold. It can be a, a hard thing, a bondage to get out. And we we don't have an escape, but but Jesus will can set you free from that. So read these later, okay? It's kind of small. I'm sorry. <laughs> now. Uh, a lot of verses to put on a small area. Okay? So you can pray tonight. Jesus, I repent and, and turn away from my sins. So he'll deliver you. Okay? And that way you can go to heaven with you. That's the most important thing, right? What's going to happen when you die? Right? You could die tonight. <laughs> Track for me, sir? Doctor Press. How you doing? Hi. Giving out tracks tonight? The gospel tracks. Simple gospel tracks. Read it when you get a chance. Quiet of your home. Huh? Win or lose. Right. <laughs> Every day. Yeah? Oh. Playing slots. Yeah. You want to read the track, gospel track, read later? Yeah. The gospel track, read later. Yeah. Yeah. How you doing, sir? Good, thank you. I don't have Gambler on here, but um, that's how the shirt came. I like it. You like that a lot? You know, I'm a Gnostic. I know what that is, right? Yeah. And uh, so, so there, there's we, a possibility we have a, you might we have believe. A spiritual 
Yeah, but no, that's not an agnostic. Oh. An agnostic. Okay. Yeah, agnostic. Are you guys in line? Well, no, go ahead. I am, sir. Oh, he is. But good right. for you. No, I'm sorry. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. You can go for me. Thank you so much. No, no, I'm sorry. No problem. I just had to give a gossip right now. <laughs> Trying to help. I got my hand for me. Don't worry. I'll wait till you cash in. <laughs> give these out, you know, and so uh, I, I come to these establishments to tell them about the Lord. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're Christians. Okay. We gamble, but not yeah. a lot. <laughs> oh, not good, yeah. Well, there's some good verses on there you're going to see that, that oppose gambling. Yeah, I, got even got <laughs> I know, it's small. Oh, sorry. this part of D. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, I, repent of your sins. You, the you can be a Christian, a born again Christian. Yes. I, uh, I get to, there's worse things that can happen to me. You can go to hell. That'd be the worst. Yeah, uh, I don't know. You know, it's like, I think we, I think, I think as, as I become older, I realize that my life, I've created my own heaven or my own hell right here in this world. Huh? You know what I mean? I mean, the afterlife is one thing. I hear a lot of people say that, you know. Yeah. And, and the good will be rewarded. But how much more the ungodly and the sinner? Yeah, I guess. I mean, it's, yeah. I've just, you know, my problem is I have too much education. Too smart for your britches? Yeah, I've taken philosophy up the butt. And, um... Have you yet, read the Bible? Oh, of course. I've read the Bible. I've read the... Torah, which I have some Jewish inclination. Are you a I Jew? Read that. Well, what's a Jew? But I, uh, uh -huh. yeah. Hi, go ahead. Well, I'm not in line. Well, Amazon.com can solve, you know, that issue. <laughs> well, I guess. Actually, my people have been here since the 1700s. Oh, wow. Coulter is the last name. Coulter? Coulter, yeah. So we fought in all the wars except for, the, I think, the Spanish, American, and <laughs> Korea we didn't get. But, wow. but uh, you know, uh, but just for your information, the cashier mentioned it to the supervisor that we were out here kind of proselytizing, so yeah. I don't have a problem with it, oh, but really? don't be surprised if you get a tap on the shoulder. The yeah, but you see, might get a tap on the they, shoulder. I'll take this. No, no, no. I, I, oh, oh, you have a gambling have, problem? Oh, no, you have this. That, I'm giving gospel tracts out, but I mean, uh -huh. if, they, if they can offer this, why can't I offer a different route through Jesus? I mean, right? I mean, yeah, they have, yeah. I know. It looks like freedom of religion with uh, the Buddhas and... And oh yeah, 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 outside, yeah, yeah, so. yeah. Well, yeah, you've got a lot of Asian people in here. That's right. Have you read much Buddhism? Uh, no, I, I used to evangelize with the ex-Buddhists. Well, you know, you know, like the Christian gospel has the golden rule, and the no, Buddhist, it doesn't. Well, it does. In the in the in the in the New Testament, there's do unto others as you'd have them do unto you. Well, God boils Ten Commandments down into two. Love God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, and then love your neighbor as yourself. Same, same kind of thing. Where does it say, do unto others as you would have them do unto you? Isn't that a quote directly from the big guy? Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah it is. Yeah. But what I'm trying to, the point I'm the trying to make is... Thing I, I would, like, that's what I call it, the golden rule. I think it's pretty well recognized it's a golden rule. But the Buddhists... <laughs> The clever Buddhists have, have what's called the silver rule, which is do not do unto others as you would have them not do unto you. So they kind of, well, they, they, they exclude. Like if a, if a guy takes a girl out to a date, he doesn't necessarily, maybe she doesn't want to do unto him as he wants to do unto her. So, I mean, it's much more logical to say do not do unto others as you would not have them do. Yeah, right. Don't impose your will on others. Yeah. You know, well, you know, in, in a way, too, um, when I uh, evangelize, yeah. uh, I'm not 
telling people about the love of God. I'm telling right. people to repent because unless they repent, they're not going to know about the love of God. Yeah, but I mean, what's your motivation? In other words, do you get like points or something for no, this? No, no. You're but, not with the big guy in your book? Do you don't get any, you aren't good deeds? Uh, no, I, well, I'm, I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Which is? Preaching the gospel. Go out in all the world and preach the gospel to every preacher. Yes. And that's what I'm doing. And that's what a lot of Christians neglect. Uh -huh. And they don't sit in the pew in the church. Are you f affiliated with the denomination? No. Oh, I see. You're you kind of doing this yourself. With God. With God. Right. I think that's great. Yeah, I, I, I don't, you know, it's like I used to go to these churches and then you give money to the church, right? To the yeah. pastors. And then the pastors figure out uh, what the, how the money's going to be divvied out. Well, you know that's the big Why complaint. God that's a big complaint. Me. No, that's a, you're right. And and that's that's the big complaint from the Jehovah's Witnesses, I know. Uh, you know, and they say, you know, they they're like oh. the the biggest not organized organization around. You know that they don't have an official. <laughs> Power structure and all of that set up, you know. But well, they um, use fear tactics on them. Well, them sort of a lot of this, in a lot of this brimstone talk is fear. Well, Jesus was a fire of brimstone preacher. Well, he Jesus said, he might said, not have been, might, might have missed the mark there a little no, bit. No, he didn't. He, he's perfect. He, he's, oh yeah, step outside. No, I just, no, but, but I mean, <laughs> he talked more about hell. In heaven, in Matthew, right, how do you explain right, that? Right, right. Well, that does to motivate go. people, but I mean, a kind and merciful God can't punish people for eternity. It just doesn't work. Well, that's what he said. I mean, though. yeah, but the Catholics have the idea of purgatory, and the Mormons. I know the Mormons very well. They have the idea that you kind of get a second chance, even after you die, that you get a chance to understand and be part of the of the uh, holy community. You, you know why all these religions say this? Because they want you to continue to sin. But Jesus says to stop sin. Right. The soul right. that sinneth shall die. He right. says unless you repent, you will all likewise perish. Well, that kind of comes. What's your name, friend? Henry. I'm Dennis. I'm Dennis. 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 Henry. But you know that's kind of what I was saying before. I don't know whether it's the depth of what I really have come to feel really came across is that as I reach my 60s, I reach 65 in a few months, yeah. I um, look back and I regret, I feel repentance, I feel regret for those sins I've committed. How do you think they and, go away? Well, I, I, you have to ask God to, to take them away. And, and by believing in God, and I means, definitely believe that you have to ask God. And then, and then you stop sin, right? Oh yeah, oh yeah, God yeah, yeah. in this guy that yeah. you know, Jesus rose on the cross to, to, to deliver you and set you free from sin. Yes, yes, So that yes. when God's Spirit goes in you, you're in a clean vessel with a new heart. Yes, And yes. You, you walk away from sin. Yes, Just like that he told the, woman, the woman caught in adultery. He said, go and sin no more. Exactly. Another exactly. guy said, stop sinning or something worse is going to happen. Right, right. And that's right. true. I've seen right. that. I, yes. I was, you know, tried to change at uh, one time in my life and I, and I didn't really repent. And then I went back into the, the quagmire like a pig. Right. And then it was true. It was like seven worse demons came, you know, on yes. that yes. whole situation. But since I repented eight years ago, uh, now I, you know, ever since that day, I've seen the, the world in, in, in a new sight. You know, Mike, what might be interesting for you is the Lamsama, or Lasma, Lamsa, L-A-M-S-A, Lamsa translation of the New Testament from uh, Aramaic oh. into English. Oh, wow. It's a direct translation from Aramaic into English wow. without the intermediary step of Greek and Latin and then English. Huh. And you know who gave me a copy? Noel Paul Stuckey of Peter, Paul, and Mary. I've had a similar conversation with him, just like I've had with you. Wow. And, 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 and uh, you know, he sang this, he had sang this song at this, uh, at this club I was in up in uh, Hollywood or something. Uh, wow. and, and I saw him perform. And, and, and he sang this song, 
Don't do that dope anymore. 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 And he just went on and it was really, you know, but it was basically his message was, hey, you know, you don't have to do that yeah. kind of stuff. Yeah. And, and and that was an old Paul Stuckey. You know who he is? No, I'm sorry, but I know you Peter You ever hear that Peter, well, he yeah. is um, Paul. Noel Paul Stuckey. Oh, okay. The and taller he, one or the shorter one? The, the taller one okay. and, and Mary died. And then we got back Yeah, and then there's just Paul and Peter. Oh. But he, when he, they had a, they had a hiatus of like seven years, you know, when they uh, were not um, uh, performing, and uh, he just turned his back on all of the monetary attractions in the world and went up to Vermont. He started a chicken farm with his wife, and you know, he's just a wonderful, happy, wonderful person. But he gave me a copy of this. Remember this? Lamsa. L A M S A. Okay. Very interesting. I haven't really compared it. You know, if I had, I went, my idea was to sit down with the King James Version or even the Revised. Yeah, you know, side revised, by side. And kind of go, yeah, you know, side by side because apparently there's quite a bit of, uh, uh, um, not big differences, but some some differences. Not so much in interpretation, but Aramaic apparently had, was like English. It had a lot of uh, poetry. In it. Uh -huh. I see the forces of, of the Jardines are gathering here. We should probably walk outside. <laughs> yeah. Well, I got to continue doing. It was a pleasure oh, talking very, to very you, very Henry. Pleasure to talk to you. And, yeah. and thank you for the good work you're doing. Yeah. And, and, and remember to read that track. I don't want to Conversations either about religion or about people's gambling problems. The reason we pass these out is so people can call that number and get right. information that's from professionals that know what they're talking about. Well, I'm a about. professional, but I'm a Christian. Right. Well, that's fine, and, but we can't have you here on the premises. Either. Well, I mean, it's freedom of religion, right? I mean, because they have like Buddhas and stuff like that. Like, yeah, yeah, but those, those, those Buddhas aren't, aren't preaching any religion. They're just here. Basically, well, unfortunately, they're lucky charms for gamblers. Anyway, we're not going to be, you know, this isn't a place to come in. I'm not going to be able to let you do that here. No. Absolutely not. Uh, I understand. This is America, though. You know, but this is a private uh, business. Well, I ate it. The and, restaurant. And while you're eating in the restaurant, you're more than welcome to eat. You're not allowed to wander around the casino and talk to people about it. Now, what would the sheriff say about that? You're more than welcome to call him. Well, you can call him. I'm not, unless you want me, you want me to call him and tell well, him you're I, trespassing. I, 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 I don't no, do but that I'm, I'm not, because right. I, I have a receipt showing that I'm a patron. Right. And you ate in the restaurant, and we served so, you there. Now, let me ask you something. This is not Nazi Germany, right? Not to my knowledge. This is the United not. States of America. We Correct. have freedom of religion, freedom of press, and freedom of speech. Yes. You can't, I don't care who you are, go up to anybody, and like if somebody's talking about sports, tell them you can't talk about sports. If somebody's talking about Republicans and Democrats and uh, American Independent Party, uh, whatever, you can't talk, tell them that they can't talk But on apartment. private property, we're allowed to refuse no, service to anybody that, that we well, don't want that, to serve that's true. that we don't want to have to meet here. That's, that's true, but 
the underlying statement that you're saying is that uh, because I'm talking to people. No, here's my here's my here's my statement to you. Then, to make it clear. If you're here eating in the restaurant, you're more than welcome to be here. If you're here on the casino floor and you're not gambling, you're not welcome in our casino. Well, then I'll step away from the casino area. You, as long as you're not on casino property, you're more than welcome to well, do anything outside of now, on the street or anywhere else. Would you say the same thing talking to uh, people talking about politics? As long as they were not playing, I would say the same thing to them. Yes. Well, there's a lot of conversation going on here, sir. That may not have to deal with gambling. Well, I'm dealing with you right now. And I can't have you by our cage talking to people about yeah, religion. Stay and, away and from the cage. No, 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 you're not on.